guys, it's Biffy Guy, and now uh, we're out here for another adventure. As you can see, it's getting dark, sun's just going down. Sounds like, oh, oh, there it goes, a whole bunch of geese. Wow, there's a lot of them. Anyway, we are out here. Um, wow, there's like 50 of them. You can hear them flapping their wings. It's crazy. Anyway, we're out here at the Berryman Campground. And uh, we're out here for another fun weekend. It's uh, 35 degrees right now, so it's kind of cold. And uh, I gotta make some food. We're gonna bust out the uh, Snow Peak 900, make up some ramen. I got some extra spices. We'll check it out. So you can see I got the, uh, the old 900 in the pot cozy. And if you have ramen, and you have enough uh, spices, you can really make it taste good. See, look what I did. I managed to get a hearty steakhouse burger right out of one package of uh, beef ramen and a little secret spices and all that. And I mean, it's totally complete. Check it out. Somebody put a carpet down. Can you see that? That's a carpet. I don't know why they put carpet down, but that was nice of them, I guess. I'm gonna set my tent up right here because there is no trees above me you probably can't see that because it's dark but you do notice that i have a brighter headlamp that's one of the things we'll talk about on this trip but i'm gonna eat this burger right now well there is the sun it's like 6 15 in the morning and i'm far too awake for this early and here's a dog eating doing the dishes he's doing the dishes this is how you clean dishes in the in the wild this tank xc the bearded one and uh, studies have shown that um, videos get more thumbs up when you put dogs in them. So we brought Tank along. Wonder dog. All right, so I took my tent down already. I'm organized. This is the uh, tarp tent Rain Shadow 2, which is apparently a three-person tent. This is like a garage, essentially. I don't know if you guys can see that. Held up by two trekking poles in the front. You can use one. And... Uh, got the uh, the double lines on each corner to stake out the bathtub floor and this little section right here is the door this has got like a little mitten clip and a prusik knot and it comes down kind of gives you your rain protection you got mesh all the way around the edges which is pretty cool for ventilation and then one big little hoop in the back and then uh, the three guy lines come out to a single stake you got a lot of mesh in there that's pretty wild. Uh, he's got a, a little Tyvek uh, footprint that he made, or I guess bought for it. And uh, lots of room in there. This thing uh, weighs about, I think he's, it was a 40, 40 ounces? Something like 40 ounces with the stakes and the, uh, the pole. And that's about how much the double rainbow weighs. And this thing is just monster garage. Monster garage. It's made by Tarp Tent. You can go to tarptent.com. There's your plug for the morning. All right, so we're hiking on the Codaway. This goes from Fire Road 2265 down to uh, Harmon Spring, and that is my section of the trail. Did you know that you can adopt your own section of the trail? You can, just go check out the website. But you can see I have invasive species on my trail. Yes. Trail is nice and wide, and unfortunately that attracts the uh, the ATV crowd. There's no ATV in on this trail, folks. You can bring a horse. I'll be okay with that. But they've been here recently, I'm sure. We might even run into some. It's unfortunate. So XC's here, the dog is just going crazy. He's got a whole pack full of ramen. He's a, he's, his dummy load is ramen noodles, which works out well. And XC, he's, uh, he's got a custom made pack, not really, but it's built for an umbrella. You know you're a through hiker when you have a chrome dome umbrella. He's gonna carry that on the PCT. Check this out, look. Oh, oh he's running, he's trying to run. Full range of motion and everything. Dakin pack. I think it's designed for a shovel. So there you go. The water's frozen, dog.
Tank says his pack is too heavy. That's why we do these training hikes, Tank, to make sure our load is is properly oriented so we don't overload ourselves on a long hike, like say a 200 mile one. You can do it. Those 14 packs of ramen. All right, throw your fit, see ya, bye. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, he's totally stuck. <laughs> Come on, bud. There you go. When your pack is too heavy. We're going to change XC's trail name to Mary Poppins. Because he's got an umbrella. And the dog's rolling again. So we're at Harmon Spring. Cut off. You can see that the sign is falling down. It's back up. We got we to gotta do some signage in here. I'm going to make that happen this year. We're going to put a big one there. And then a big one there. And that's the spur that goes off to the actual Harmon Spring Trailhead, which we'll walk down to in a minute. But we gotta get uh, some good signage here because this is where people come, they come running. They see that sign over there. They don't probably don't see that sign up here and they go that, they go this direction towards Harmon Spring and they need to be going the other direction towards Bass. You know, and these people, they come through here, they've been running for like 70 miles already. They're hallucinating. They're just, well, they're, and they're crazy to begin with, so. Gotta help them out, but that sign right there says spur trail. So if you see one that says spur trail on it, you're on a spur trail, you're not on the main trail. Pay attention to the signs. It's a huge giant patch of what are these daylilies, daffodils, John Quill, John Quill, something like that. And then there's a there's even more over here. And then back there, there's a concrete structure like a uh, like a spring house or something. We're thinking. Um, I'd go back there, but there's stickers, and I don't like you guys that much. Just kidding. I love you guys. You guys are the best. You sit and listen to me ramble about absolutely nothing. Somebody died here. Back, uh, I was back on when we put the Berryman sign in. We came across the dead carcass uh, in this area as well on the way through, so. But... So we, the trail is pretty well cleared. We, we had to go through here and clear all this stuff out. There's a lot of brush. Not really. So this tree, in my opinion, is uh, obstructing the trail and it needs to move. And I bought a bow saw, so I wanna cut something. There you go, less than, I don't know, 30 seconds that saw chewed through that tree. That's a Baco 24 inch with a dry wood blade. That's the number 51 blade, in case you're wondering. Now I gotta move this off the trail. Well, we made it to the Harmon Springs Trailhead. And as you can see, it's wet. It's always wet. This is a big concern, is getting up this big hump with the car and bottom and out through this little creek. But you kid, you could, you can, you could, you can. That's speedish. You could park over there. There's a little space off the road and then you can kind of go up that tiny hill a little bit. You probably park the car there. And I think uh, up to, at the top of the hill that direction is a uh, little hunter's camp. And then uh, you could park up there too and then just walk down the hill. Uh, the trailhead has plenty of parking. The, just the issue is getting to it. If you got a four wheel drive or like a pickup truck or something like that, you're gonna have clearance and we'll have an issue. There's plenty of water around. And uh, this is your, your camp spots pretty much inside this little thing or you can uh, go further on down the road uh, down the trail here and uh, stay you know by the daffodils well we cleared out a whole bunch of uh, trees debris that was kind of plugging up the trail through here and so now it's big enough to kind of get a uh, truck through and in case we need to uh, drive a truck in with cement to put in the sign for the Harmon Spring cutoff which will be uh, my next big project mm -hmm. 